Hey there everyone, my name is Eduardo Arroyo, but you can call me Ed, and today we're here exploring downtown in Salt Lake City, Utah. Yes, you guys, you heard that right. Today we are here exploring downtown Salt Lake City. The main plan for today is very simple. Grab a bite to eat. There's a lot of options here, so that's gonna be fun. And then I'm gonna be taking you to explore different uh, places, buildings, and locations to give you a better idea as to what is there to do and to see here in Salt Lake City. So if you guys are interested, come with me. So before making my way here, I decided to check online for recommendations of what locals like to eat here in Salt Lake City and in Utah in general. But honestly, that information is actually kind of hard to find. Ultimately, I did find some stuff on the internet. Uh, apparently, pastrami burgers are a big thing here. They're pretty popular here in Utah. And I thought to myself, why not try something that locals enjoy and something that I've never tried before. Sounds like a plan. The place that I'm checking out today is called Crown Burgers. Crown Burgers is actually a very popular local burger chain here in the Utah Valley with multiple locations here in Salt Lake City and different cities throughout the valley as well. I've tried multiple of the bigger burger chains in the past like In-N-Out and Whataburger. I do have very high hopes for this one so let's go check it out. Hi, can I get a Junior Pastrami Burger combo? And then can I have a vanilla milkshake small? I ended up getting the junior pastrami combo just because I thought I wasn't gonna finish the big one but this one is still huge like I don't even know if I can finish that one I also ended up getting a milkshake one thing that I didn't mention at the beginning is that ice cream milkshakes are also very popular here in Utah so if you're looking to try something that locals like here in Utah you can't go wrong with a crown burger and a good old milkshake cheers you guys mm. Delicious. Just to give you a closer look before I devour this. Oh my goodness guys, that was so delicious. But I think it was a little bit too much for me. I'm so full. I don't know if I'm gonna eat anything for the rest of the day. If you guys are ever in Salt Lake City and wanna try a good burger, a good local burger, definitely come check out Crown Burgers here in downtown. All right, you guys, we got some food. We also got some dessert. So we have the energy we need to continue this day of adventure. What I wanna do next is take you around downtown and take you to some buildings and locations. The plan is to tell you a little bit about what you can do or some of the history behind them. So let's do it. It's so funny how like whenever you go to a different place that you've never been to before which is the case for me uh, coming to Salt Lake City for the first time I was looking at the weather reports and it looked like it was gonna be so cold and I came prepared with like hoodies and like jackets and like beanies and stuff right now I'm not using any of that we just made it to the first location of today so right here you guys is Vivint Smart Home Arena which is the home of the Utah Jazz honestly I'm not the biggest basketball fan but if you are it might be worth it to check out if there's a game going on whenever you decide to come to Salt Lake City or if you're a fan of the Utah Jazz in specific then I'm sure they have a gift shop inside with anything and everything with your team's name on it there's still a lot of snow that is melting away check it out so that's kind of what I was worrying about the weather report said that there was gonna be like snow showers and I was like this is like the second or third time that I see snow in my life I'm not ready for snow showers oh my god it's still like you can still make snowballs with it and really really close to the stadium is right here not even a block away is the Clark Planetarium if you're interested in space discovery planets 
and anything related to that this might be a good option for you and if you're actually really interested in this type of stuff i actually have a video i made of the houston space center so if you're interested i'll leave it in the description below so you can check it out to keep up with the theme of places you can visit here in downtown to check out an event or simply have fun there's two places very close to the planetarium one of them is the megaplex number 12 as you can see there it's for movies food and fun right next to this place is wise guys which is a comedy club that offers live comedy performances so take your pick and if you want to take a break and have a more relaxed experience you can swing by pioneer park this park is the host of multiple events including the weekly farmers market which happens every summer this place is very serene it has a playground for the little ones it has a soccer field a volleyball court and it's just overall a wide area where you can either jog bring your dog or simply sit down in one of the many benches available here Hey there you guys, we made it here to the heart of downtown in Salt Lake City. We are actually located here at the Gallivan Center. This is an event center and as such it holds a lot of different events. They actually do have a website. So if you're around the area, definitely check that website out to see what's popping, what's going on. I think there's an ice skating rink close by and I think it opens soon. Besides the ice skating rink, I do believe this place hosts different concerts, events such as like arts and crafts, and this is also available as a venue for weddings or parties or the like. This place is still surrounded by snow. Check it out. I honestly don't think I've ever seen that much snow piled like that in my whole life. It kind of just makes you like want to throw yourself and do like a snow angel. It's so tempting. That definitely did not go how I was expecting. So this is the ice skating rink. I believe they're getting it ready for tonight. I think it opens at four, but check it out, it looks so clean. So there it is you guys, the ice skating rink. And like I said, check out the website to see what else is going on so you can check it out. Walking just a block away from the Gallivan Center can get you to the Eccles Theater. If you are a fan of Broadway shows and musicals, then this might be the perfect place for you. When Broadway shows such as Hamilton or Mean Girls come to Salt Lake City, they make their way to Eccles Theater. So definitely check that out. I'm guessing Eccles Theater is all this like top floor because I saw the name on the other side and now I see it on this corner over here. So it is a big place, guys. The last event venue that I'm gonna go ahead and cover today is the Salt Palace Convention Center right there behind me. This place has been used for so many different things in the past and it continues to be used that way. One example is that this place was used as the headquarters of the media coverage for the 2002 Winter Olympics. Also conventions such as comic book conventions, nursing conventions, technology. I think I also saw like tattoo conventions, something like that. There's so many things that happen here. So definitely check out their website to see like the calendar events to see if something interests you. You can definitely go ahead and take part of it. You will also find just a lot of road signs placed here with different words or phrases. I think this is a great location to take some cool pictures for Instagram. So there you have it. That is the convention center. Let's go to our next location. The next area we are going to visit today is City Creek Center. I think it's like a shopping and dining center. So we're gonna explore and see what we can find. I found the directory right here, a list of all the different shops and the different restaurants I have available here. There's a lot to choose from. Water fountain and everything. Cool. 
Tiffany and Co, Louis Vuitton, I see Hugo Boss, Wes's Hut, a lot of stores all around you. I wonder if there's different sections of the mall with more like attainable, not so expensive things. That would be, that would be great. I'm on the second floor and I'm moving through the sky bridge. This is definitely really helpful because the weather outside is just really bad. Check it out. You can also get a cool view right here from the sky bridge. And this is where the train goes through. Wow, check it out you guys. Imagine if those buildings weren't right there. The view would be that much better. It feels like you're looking at a painting. Doesn't that look amazing? It's so crazy. Into the north side of City Creek Center and downtown for that matter, you'll find a lot of buildings that are owned by the Mormon Church. Let me show you. I'm currently making my way over to Temple Square Plaza. See what I can find, see what I can show you. This one is a church and over there it says that is the office building. That office building is huge, man. That's City Creek Center. So that's a mall over there. And this plaza, all of this section over here, and including the buildings, I believe, are owned by the Mormon Church. But I want to show you that building over there. Doesn't it look amazing? Over here is the Salt Lake Temple. And I gotta admit, I really like how it looks. It's like Gothic style or something. It looks nice. It's so hard to believe that's just a temple. It looks like a freaking castle. I'm just amazed, you know, like all this area over here, all these buildings, huge buildings, by the way, they have their own library, they have their own conference center, everything is owned by the church. This church related thing that I'm gonna show you today is the Church History Museum. It is also very close by and it is also a huge building. Let me show you. Check it out, guys. Here it is. And as you can see, there's a lot of people going in right now. I'm guessing that is like a little bit of the history of the Mormon church. It might be a good opportunity for me to learn what it's all about, but uh, I, think, I think maybe next time. Anyways, you guys, that is gonna be all from me. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, make sure you click the like button and subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more videos like this one. I just wanna remind you guys to always be kind, have an open mind. I'll see you next time.